here's just a real quick tabletop review of the XH Data D328, which is, at the time of recording, the cheapest shortwave radio receiver that I could find off of Amazon. Uh, it's pretty small, it can fit in the palm of your hand. It feels pretty robust, it's not super cheaply made. Uh, it feels pretty solid, I've tossed it in my backpack a few times when I went camping. Uh, it takes a rechargeable battery, which, whether you like that or not, that's what it does. Uh, it seems to be a pretty standard one. I'm pretty sure that you can find these off Amazon to replace it if you want to have a spare laying around, but it's a BL5C. Uh, one thing with the rechargeable, obviously if uh, you're planning to use this for like emergency uh, information gathering, anything like that, you'd want to have a way to charge it up. It does have a pretty long runtime. I turned it on and left it for 19 and a half hours before it went dead. So you get quite a bit of runtime out of this. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, it has AM and FM bands as long as your standard 9 shortwave channels. Um, the antenna itself is just about what you'd expect, just a standard telescoping antenna. About 2.5 feet long. It has a little stand in the back to where you can stand it up. I doubt this thing would be very waterproof because all the battery compartments are all exposed. So if you're wanting something that would be waterproof, you better look elsewhere. Maybe something a little bit more robust, but this is only 16 bucks, literally the cheapest one. Um, the audio is clear, I can understand what they're saying. One weird thing about this is that you can put in the micro SD card and use it as an MP3 player also. That's not uh, something I think I'd ever use, but it's an interesting feature. M my biggest negative for this thing would be that it takes a mini USB instead of a micro USB to charge it. Um, everyone has piles of micro USBs laying around, but not many people have the fatter mini USBs laying around. It does come with one, but you know, losing cables and stuff, you're not going to have a, a common spare for this radio. But overall, like I said, seems pretty durable. Uh, all the channel ranges are pretty, uh, all the frequency ranges I mean are pretty standard. Uh, your FM is 64 to 108 megahertz. Your uh, medium wave, which is AM, is 520 to 1620 kilohertz. Your short wave between the nine channels ranges from uh, 4750 all the way to 22,000 kilohertz. And, uh, well, that's about all there is to it. Overall, I like it pretty well. Um, it does what I want to do. It, I'd suggest, you know, if you're thinking about it, go ahead and pick one up. They're, they're quite a bit of fun. In the evening times, you can... Uh, pick up transmissions from halfway around the globe. I've I've heard quite a few that are a little bit too grainy for me to get a get a, a location out of. But the ones I've confirmed, I've got one from uh, deep down in South America. I think it was Brazil, and me being in the, the southern United States, that's a pretty good distance. And I got another one from Spain before too, and England. So uh, nearly halfway around the world, you can pick stuff up, and it's pretty neat. Um, Overall, I think uh, the, this one's pretty alright. For only $16, I was super surprised. Uh, honestly, I'm surprised about how nice it is. So, the link will be in the description below if you want to pick one of these up. Uh, I might toss a couple other links to other ones that I think might be a little bit better than this one, but uh, I'll have this, this one's link up top.